What's going on guys? It is Markoshi here. Uh, I'm back. Uh, however, I'm not going to be doing your regular video. I'm going to be doing a product review today. Okay, so we are talking business cards. Now in the past, if you guys have known me in my past life, or if we've been friends for a long time, I have been notorious uh, for handing out business cards, uh, whether it be from other jobs or for, uh, you know, my DJing, uh, or if I had any other business ventures back in the day, I always had to get a card. For me, um, it stuck with me ever since I was watching American Psycho when they were doing the comparisons for business cards. That stuck with me. And for me, business cards show some sort of credibility. Uh, I know I might be a little old school. Uh, you know, a lot of younger guys, younger people, they, you know, they're like, well, I don't need your business card. What's your Instagram? Or, you know, what's your, what's your Facebook page or whatever? What's your website? Um, but for me, still, I still think that have, having some sort of uh, tangible item to give to a contact, a potential contact, is great. Um, now though, since I work for a, uh, company that deal that actually just won, uh, an environmental stewardship award got me thinking, uh, how can I be more, um, environmentally friendly? You know, I've also wasted so much money on printing business cards and, you know, just to get. Uh, you know, that sort of discount, you'd have to order, you know, 500, 1,000, sometimes even 2,500. Um, I've even had to order at one point uh, plastic business cards. They were like credit cards or ID cards. Like they were that kind of a thick plastic. And those were costly. I think those were about two bucks a card. And I ordered a hundred of them, uh, you know, and I probably gave out 25 just because I was... I knew how much they were, and so I just didn't want to give them to, you know, randos all the time. Um, so again, that was another waste of money. So last month, I was, I was uh, uh, tasked to, to get new business cards made, okay? Um, but so, you know, obviously I checked out Vistaprint, I tried, I, you know, designing my own. I just didn't like it. I've gone through Vistaprint in the past, uh, you know, to get some DJ cards made. And, uh, you know, four months uh, after I got those made, well, you know what, we moved to New Brunswick. And clearly those cards were gonna be out of date. So as soon as we made that move, uh, those cards have gone to waste. I have thrown out so many business cards. It sucks, I feel guilty. And they were actually pretty, pretty cool. So I did come across a few types of environmentally friendly options in terms of business cards. Uh, you know, even, even Jazz was just telling me that she found a business card that you could actually plant, um, you, know, in an, you know, in one of your plants and it becomes plant food. Uh, there's even some that I've seen that you can plant it and then it turns into an actual plant. Those are cool, those are costly, and they still will take up a lot of space on your desk or in your drawer or whatever. The one company that really stood out to me in terms of uh, having an awesome business card and that was environmentally friendly was this company called Vice. Vice Card, I believe they're based out of the UK. Um, they have a few different options uh, in terms of material. So you could actually get PVC plastic ones, there's bamboo ones, and there's metal ones, and you can actually fully customize these. Uh, there are other companies like this, but don't have the same customizing options, and if they do, they're way too expensive, okay? So I went with Vice. This card just came in the mail today. This is what it looks like. Okay, so this is actually made out of bamboo, okay? They claim that this is gonna be the last business card you'll ever need. So how does this work? 
This works one of two ways, okay? Uh, the first way, and the first way I think is really cool, uh, it's done through NFC. So NFC is actually near field communication. It's the same technology that uh, utilizes, you know, uh, like Apple Pay or Google Pay or whatever. It's like that tap to pay thing, okay? Um, the second way is through a QR code and you just use the camera on your smartphone to scan that and then they will, uh, you know, your, your contact information will pop up. So let's paint a little bit of a picture here. Let's say you're at an event or you're at a trade show or, uh, you know, you're trying to trade contact information with somebody and they ask you for a business card. Well, normally people don't carry that many business cards anymore because, you know, the whole COVID thing and, you know, nobody really wants to uh, touch your germy uh, business cards. You, they don't know where your hands have been or whatever. Like some people, you know, they they lick their thumbs to get their business cards out. Now, I'm not going to accept that. Like I know Jazz won't. That's for damn sure. So anyways, the way that it works, you tell them, do you have a smartphone? Great. Unlock your phone. Okay. So my phone's unlocked right now. Then with them holding it, you're going to take your card and then you're going to pass it through and then your contact information shows up here which i think is pretty cool so right now i have on here on this it's it goes to a link tree okay so right now i have my instagram which is at the fresh prince of nb i also have the fundy undies instagram uh my personal facebook and i got the youtube links on there and my linkedin and then there, at the bottom there's a bottom thing that says uh, contact info. So all my contact info is here. Obviously, I'm not going to zoom in on that because I don't want to give out my phone number to you guys, but it's all there. Okay. Then the user, all they have to do is just hit save and then it will save directly onto the phone. I think that this is so cool. I think this is such a cool way to transfer contacts now. I know that there has been apps in the past like Bump or whatever that kind of uses near field communication, but it kind of sucks. Uh, but this is actually uh, pretty cool and you still have something tangible. You have something tangible and I guarantee you that this will be a conversation starter. I swear if Jazz and I were just starting to date and after our first date, we actually wanted to trade contact information and not chat over some dating app, she will absolutely love this. She's a tech geek and she's gonna fall in love with me all over again, right? Yeah. There you go. So you heard it, you heard it from her. I'm not just BSing you guys. <laughs> but yes, this, uh, what their claim is, is that this will be the last business card you will ever need. I'm hoping this is gonna be the last business card I'll ever need. If I have to order a replacement, cool but that would suck just because uh the printing time did take a little bit longer their printing facility is uh based out of spain and right now like they were great communicating with me so i they, they were setting up my expectations uh but their production is a little bit slow right now just because of covid they were nice enough to include some gifts which was pretty cool um I'm not going to explain what those gifts are because it you know, doesn't really matter. Now, setting up your card, like when you first get your card, it is really easy. You log into the website um, and you go into your account. Then you'll have the options of adding, you know, obviously name, address, phone numbers, emails, websites, whatever. Okay. So that'll be on your main contact, uh, your contact card. If you want to start a link tree, uh, you can add in all your URLs, all your social medias, anything you want, anything you want that you want to share with that contact is, uh, is, you know, is doable as well. And let's just say you have, you're, let's say, let's, let's say you're working two jobs. Okay. You have two sales jobs and two completely different industries. Let's say you have to fly to Vegas and you have to cover two days of conferences, but you have to represent 
the two different businesses you work for. So on one day, you load up or you uh, you load up your your card with one company's contact information, and then the next day, you know, you change your uniform, you change your name tag. And then you have to go into your account and then change all the contact information as well. You can do that. So you can store so much information on here and it is easily shareable just by a simple friggin' tap. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, the, this is, this, this is actually a great gift. Now I want to convince my boss because again, uh, the company that I work for, we actually just won an award. So now we're looking into ways on being more environmentally friendly on top of what we're already doing. So when he sees this, he's going to flip. I'm hoping <laughs> because we've wasted a lot of money on business cards. We all have, we all have, it doesn't matter what company you're with, but business cards, um, you know, it should be a one and done. But you know, things happen, changes are made, uh, you know, people get promotions or titles, title changes, or you know, phone number changes, and obviously it's not gonna change on your physical business cards, but they will always be available to change on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna leave the link so that you can order below. I am not being paid for this, I am simply doing a review because this card is awesome. I'm out.